Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. I'm Kirsten Langston, author and intuitive. We have your Tuesday celebrity today. Hello YouTube, hello Instagram. How are you guys? So on Instagram, I can only do 15 minutes. So to keep life simple, I'm gonna do 15 minutes and if there's more, I will let you know if we get cut off and the rest will be over on Patreon. I think sometimes there's gonna be a lot on Patreon, sometimes there might not be anything on Patreon, but that is the deal. So, are you guys ready? What we're looking at today, we're gonna be looking at Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. We're gonna be looking at Jam Master J, is there justice finally? We're gonna look at Megan and Harry and see how they're doing. And Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, has been accused of a lot of nasty things. So we're gonna see how the outcome of his three groping trials, and I believe he was just accused of rape, but I don't think there's been an arrest or anything like that. So we're gonna take a peek. Let's do it, let's do it, I'm ready. We're gonna start with Cuba. We're actually gonna work our way up. Eh, we'll jump around, <laughs> we'll jump around. Actually, you know what, yeah, let's do that. We'll do the two, um, the two justice readings first and then we will take a look at the couples. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? So I introduced a new, I'm very excited about this, I introduced a new service to patrons. So it's called a hug. It's a hug, it's a, it's a psychic virtual hug and um, I'm probably gonna roll it out for the rest of the world but right now I'm getting, obviously it's a new service, so everybody wants to try it. Um, but I'm getting inundated right now, so I'm not gonna introduce it to everybody yet, but basically, you have a bad day, you have a bad week. Show me Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, you hit, you're on Tia, that's me. Hit me up and say, on Tia, I need a hug. And right now it's 25 bucks and you get some cards and you get beautiful words of encouragement. And I've been noticing that nine times out of 10, the guides are stepping in, your guides are stepping in and saying, I have a message for you. <laughs> so I'm really happy about it. I'm very excited about it. Um, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's nice to be able to make people happy and make people feel better, right? All right, Cuba Gooding Jr. Let's, ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness, his cards are terrible. This man's cards are terrible. Justice in the home environment on him, so he's gonna get what's coming to him. Okay, let's go through this a little bit. The, the guy's cards are awful, by the way. Also, at the top of the deck here, I'm gonna start here, we have the star card. So we have this idea of, you know, fame somehow, maybe he thought he was gonna get away with things because of fame or it got away from him because of fame. Um, whatever justice is here in his situation, it will be served. It will absolutely be served. He has justice here in the home environment. And the cards are like, is he guilty? Well, this card is called guilty, so you can draw your own conclusions because I don't want to get a libel suit <laughs> or something like that. Um, but yeah, there are, he's gonna get it. Whatever's coming to him, he's gonna get it. He is freaked out, I'll tell you this. The man doesn't know what's going on. He's like, this all needs to slow down. I don't know what's happening. Why is this happening? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Um, he, it looks like he's gonna be making restitution to some people here. So he's he's going to be giving an offering to some of these people, either, you know, probably money. It's probably gonna be money. But justice will be served and he's hoping that he can kind of walk away from this and, and not get you know, Weinstein, right? Or R. Kelly, where, you know, nobody wants to talk to you, nobody wants to have anything to do with you. You know, he's really, he's like, please God, don't let me be ostracized. That's, that's this card here. He's like, please don't let me be ostracized. But the tower came for his ass. The broken heart came for his ass. It, it, it was delayed tower too. So it, this, this was a long time coming. And I, you know, I'm reading on him. He, he's, he's feeling, he is actually feeling guilty whether he's actually guilty or not. I get the sense where he's like, what? 
you know, what was I thinking? What was I doing? You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I should have known better kind of a thing. So whether it's, you know, I should have known better than to grope someone or it was, I should have known better than to put myself in a position where I could be accused of this, whatever it is, he's feeling that like, I should have known better, blah, blah, blah. He wants it all to go away. In fact, he actually thought, I think that this was like, oh, it's going to go away. It's going to go away. And it only seems to be getting worse for him. So, mm, no. <laughs> no, buddy, so sorry. He's carrying the burden. He wants it all to go away. I'm telling you, he just keeps looking like, how do we make this go away? How do we make this go away? How do we make this go away? It's not going away. It's not going away. And in fact, there may be, there may be further repercussions or further people speaking out against him, quite frankly. Who should we look at next? Let's look at Megan. I'm, I'm like on Megan Fox, so let's look at Megan Fox. Like she is just blinging through. Megan and Machine Gun Kelly, you know, she has, she has left longtime partner, Brian Austin Green, and um, has decided Megan Kelly is her, Megan Kelly, oh my God. Machine Gun Kelly is her twin soul flame. There was an instant connection. You know, the charts make sense. You know, I read this article where she was talking about all this, where she's going, yeah, we're twin flames. And you know, it's gone mainstream. The twin flame thing has gone mainstream. You know, it was very like undergroundy kind of woo woo. Now Megan Fox is talking about it. So it's, you know, people that aren't, in the tarot woo woo community, what have you, are gonna be like, what's that, you know? Um, but she's decided that's what they are. And um, she talks about this really intense connection and, and, you know, this is it, blah, blah, blah. She's on one right now, I can feel that. She is like on a mission, she's on uh, an adventure. She is on, well, how do I wanna put this? She's having an experience. I don't know how else to put it. She's having a very profound experience with this guy, whether it's twin flame or not, whether it's it's legitimate or not even. It, you know what I mean? Other people might look at that and be like, yeah, whatever they're doing is ordinary. She's having a very profound experience with Machine Gun Kelly. Absolutely. Um, he is... He's, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting seven of cups for him, which is the card of illusion, delusion. He's kind of in la la land when it comes to her. Not that it's a bad thing, but he's kind of like, this is like a dream. It's like, buddy, eh, you know, if, if you're really twin flames, it's, it's going to get ugly. It's, <laughs> um, let's look at our cards here. Let's see what we have for them. Oh, this is karmic for sure. But there are things they can't see. There are things they both can't see. They're both in la la land right now. They're both in La La Land right now. They don't, they don't see reality, whatever that reality may be. I mean, I don't have, you know, I don't have a clue what actual reality is for them. <laughs> but whatever it is, they're not experiencing reality as it truly is. There's rose-colored glasses here that, you know, they're kind of logged into this experience that they're both having with each other, which is great. You know what I mean? Like, it's great, good for them. But eventually, they're gonna land. Eventually, this is gonna, this, this Seven of Cups thing is gonna clear up and they're gonna be like, oh shit, okay, what do we have here? What's going on here? They have the sun. They're very happy. Top of the deck, they have the sun. They're very, very happy. But there are things they cannot see and that is here in the home environment and that is here with the devil. There are things coming they can't see so there are things present right now that they can't see with the devil card but there are also things coming that they can't see with this devil card. So yeah, they're blindfolded. <laughs> the cards are like, y'all, yeah, look, these all came up together. So if you read cards, you know this is like, this is not what you want to see in a relationship. Um, the cards are telling them basically, there are things you don't know, there are things you can't see, there's information you do not have. There is, there are shoes about to be dropping on these two at some point. And it's, and I, you know, intuitively I feel like it's going to be a doozy where it's just like, whoa, what the heck just like, oh my God, reality just came right in and here it is. And it's going to be, it's going to be gnarly. It's moving very, very quickly. Um, Everybody's feeling great right now, though. Everybody's feeling great. It's moving very fast. We have the arrows of love here right on top of them, the eight of wands. But it, it, everybody's like, this is wonderful. This is great. Like, they're both really, like I said, they're immersed in this experience. They are absolutely immersed in this experience. It's very emotional. You know, they're feeling the love. They're feeling, you know, how wonderful everything is. Um, their actual connection to each other, it feels, it feels past lifey. So it's, it's definitely, 
giving me a vibe of like we're picking up where we left off and that makes sense the devil card is also a card of karma but these two have a wake-up call coming i mean the cards are very clear here they're going hey megan machine gun kelly there's there's stuff coming down the road but i say in my in my editorial comments i say ignore auntie ignore this reading should you be watching it megan or machine gun because you deserve your happiness right now. You deserve to have your journey. You deserve to have your experience. You know, don't listen. Don't listen to naysayers. Whatever comes down the pike, you know, if they're meant to stay together, be together, weather it together, whatever it may be, then they're going to do it. Let's do one more spread on them. And then we'll start Megan and Harry. And that's, it's going to cut off. It's going to cut off. So we're going to have to do the rest on Patreon, but. Let's do one more spread on me. Show me what's coming for them. Can you show me that? Show me where they're headed. I, I don't know, you guys. I think it might crash and burn. Um, but the experience, I, that's what I keep picking up. It's like the experience is what matters here. Whether or not they, they quote unquote make it, it's the experience that matters. Sidebar, I really hate this lipstick. It's bleeding and I'm throwing it away. <laughs> it's, uh, I want to say it's L'Oreal Infallible, I think. But I hate it. So FYI, I'm not a fan. I know you were wondering that more than you were wondering about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. Um, yeah, this is past life. Past life at the root of the reading. She's showing up in the reading here as Queen of Wands. Interesting. Okay, so she's showing up as two separate people here. Straight up. And they're both her. She's showing up as Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. So... It's almost like she switches over. She cools her passion. Um, there's something here where she switches from this lady who is the hoe of the tarot. Not that Megan's a hoe, but she's like, legs are wide open. What's going on? Like, what's happening? I'm hot like fire. I'm ready for you. I got my cat here. I'm ready to go. She switches from that to this. So it seems like she cools down a little bit. They don't, I'll tell you this right now, the cards don't really know where it's going to go. They're giving me Seven of Cups, so whatever it is, they're saying, look, they're, they're definitely under illusions here. They definitely don't know what the real deal is. They were married in a past life. Here's your past life card. Here's your legal card. They were married in a past life. They're also supposed to bring balance to each other and to certain things in their life. However, um, it's going to be... If they move too fast, it's going to be more work than they signed up for. So they've got to go very slow. But these two definitely belong to each other. They belong to each other. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's going to be work here. Big, big time work. I think spiritual work. We have the hangman here. We have the three of pentacles. We're dealing with a spiritual relationship. So whether it's a twin flame relationship or not is, you know, not my call to make, but it's definitely a spiritual relationship. There's an aspect of spirituality here. There's an aspect of past lives here. Um, I, you know, at this point, I'm going to say it's, it's the, the, the way that the things that I'm picking up from them, it's so combustible. I don't know if it can last, but if it can, they could have, they could have a very interesting wild ride together for as long as they want it. Okay, let's start with Megan and Harry, and um, we will continue the rest on Patreon, but you can get a little bit here. It's just easier for me rather than, oh, here's 15 minutes for Instagram. Okay, now here's 20 minutes for YouTube, blah, blah, blah. It's just easier to stop filming and then continue with Patreon. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And if you want to check the rest of this reading out or any other reading, Patreon is going to, $2 is going to get you all this stuff. It gets you these readings. It gets you readings for the month. It gets you live streams for the month. It's going to get you a Sunday brunch live stream. It will get you access to all of my archives. That's three years of archives. That's three years of predictions. That's three years of divine messages, channeled messages. So the link is in the bio, Instagram, the link is in the box, YouTube. And let's look at Megan and Harry and see how they are settling in. They're excited. I like these two. So they're excited. They're very excited about this. I've always liked Harry's vibes. I've always, always, always liked Harry's vibes. He's way less uptight than his brother. His brother has nice vibes too, but he's like, his brother's very like, let's hold it all together. Um, Harry's more like party guy for me. Although he's, he's very intent on being a dad and I, I pick that up every time I read on him. 
Ooh, they don't know what's coming either. Look at this. We're gonna have to wrap it up. We're gonna extend the, we're gonna do the extended reading on Patreon, you guys. And I will see you hopefully on Patreon. If not, I'll see you Thursday for our live stream. Mwah, mwah. We're gonna be streaming hopefully both on Instagram and YouTube, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Thank you.